Hey everyone, how's it going? So it's um, it's been extremely cold, but I just wanted to give you an update because I've been asked constantly about what is going on with this project. So Dave at Triple Edge, he um, just shipped out all my parts. Um, I've got an external cooler. That's an actual external cooler. So I'm going to be bypassing the factory cooling system so I can get rid of all that crap. Um, I also have obviously the new torque converter and then the rebuild kit for the transmission. Uh, the transmission shop in the area is going to do it for me. So that will be taken care of. Um, so anyway, it's it's literally just been sitting and waiting. And it's been so cold. We've had some really, really cold days. And I really haven't wanted to run the heater out here because it's expensive to run it. Um, so I've just been kind of um, just, you know, doing um, little bits and pieces here and there. But uh, the garage is obviously full of parts. Here's the motor all out in its glory. Um, I do have video footage of everything, and I do mean everything. And I'm piecing it together a little bit at a time because, you know, when I, when I was doing this project, I kind of did everything kind of in a certain order, okay? So some things I kind of messed around on this side, and then some things I kind of messed around on that side. And what I've been doing is I've been piecing it together to make it as easy as possible to follow, so that when you, if you, take on some project like this, then it'll be much easier than the way that I did it, okay? So I've been kind of piecing it together. Plus I'm extracting some videos, individual videos uh, that I can use. These are parts to another 4T65E that actually came out of an Uplander. Um, it has nothing to do with my project, but I will get a video on that. I've been promising a video for <laughs> about a month and a half now. Um, but anyway, so yeah, everything's all out, air conditioning is sitting there, and all the power steering is all fully intact, okay, and obviously you should already do the motor, so yeah, it's basically just waiting for the parts, and then I can take the transmission to the shop and have them rebuild it, they said it'd be around a three to four day turnaround time, and then that's it, then, you know, um, I'll be all set. Uh, so that's really the update, I mean... I gotta do some cosmetic things. Any new wire loom, you know, in some areas you can see where some of it's kind of broke away and is fragile. So uh there are some things that I do have to do. Um cleaning and dressing this stuff up. Uh but other than that, basically it's just waiting for me to get the parts for the transmission and it rebuilt. So just uh kind of wanted to give you a quick update. Um that's where it is, it's the waiting game. So I'll keep, uh, keep you posted. So, cool. Take care.